the last two to three years, there have been on average 20 billion dollar storms or disasters in the United States. Disasters are becoming more frequent, more costly, and they're impacting more Americans than ever before. Give Directly has partnered with both Google.org and a company called Propel to enable us to do both remote assessment of damage as well as remote targeting and payment of people who have been impacted from, from storms. The common struggle among aid actors is really to understand where to marshal resources effectively and rapidly after a disaster. We thought there, there needs to be a tool that has a couple of base layers of data that can help humanitarian actors. Uh, one of the base layers is on a map, where are the socioeconomically vulnerable? The next data layer that we thought would be critically important in a disaster setting is disaster damage. So can we gain access to a, a map that says, in a particular geography, these are the areas that have been hit the hardest. And what role AI is playing in this tool. There is a team at Google, uh, a research team at Google called Sky, and they had been working for some time on a pilot uh, to do disaster damage detection. So uh, essentially creating a model that can rapidly identify buildings that have been damaged due to a disaster. They built a deep neural net model to classify pairs of before and after images. And then when we overlay where have been hit the hardest, where are the, the people that are struggling the most economically, you now know the areas that you should prioritize to give cash to help people get back on their feet. Disaster relief can be very slow to arrive in the wake of a storm. And one of the things we knew we wanted to be able to do was get support in the hands of people who needed it as quickly as possible. The second thing is there's a limited amount of resources to go around. So we wanted to be able to understand how poverty interacts with disaster response. And the third reason is that the current disaster response infrastructure is really focused on in-kind donations. So uh, blankets and food, that is all really important in the wake of a storm. But what people actually need is they'll often need to make their own decisions about what resources um, they need to recover and rebuild. It's really hard to predict what people in need, uh, in these, what people facing these tragic circumstances need. And, you know, why should we try to predict those things? You know, if a disaster hits two homes next to each other, one hits an elderly family and one hits a family with young children, the needs are going to be vastly different. Um, and cash is, is fungible, cash is flexible. because we serve people who already get food stamp benefits across the United States, have a distribution channel by which people can access different types of information, access different resources that are positive to their financial health. And so quite specifically, the partnership we've had with the Give Directly team has been that Propel helps them to distribute their funds to people who are using our app. So we build the providers app used by more than 5 million families across the country to manage their SNAP benefits. And through providers, we sometimes are able to surface to our users, hey, you've been selected for a Give Directly program where you can receive a cash transfer through, uh, through their charitable partners. So we landed on a transfer amount of $700 based on what we estimated would be a basket of needs for someone who needed to very quickly, quickly recover from a storm. There's always a race against time because in disaster settings, every minute is critical. And what I think went well with this project in Hurricanes Ian and Fiona is from, from the moment we received access to uh, aerial imagery, satellite imagery, payments were made within 24 to 48 hours. That is unheard of. The ability to get from input and assessment and analysis to 
enrollment and payout in such a short amount of time is testament to the the value of having these technical systems built before a disaster has hit. We want to use this opportunity to learn as much as we can so that in future years, we can respond to more types of disasters, be them wildfires or floods or hurricanes in more parts of the United States and really focus on getting relief to low-income households who are impacted by all sorts of natural and man-made disasters.